All right, we're talking bandsaw blades today, specifically the Resaw King. Now this is the carbide tip bandsaw blade with variable tooth spacing. It's got a lot of interesting details, so stick around to learn all about this unique blade. So a lot of you are probably set up and very experienced with a bandsaw, but unfortunately a lot of woodworkers have not had the chance to use a carbide tip bandsaw blade. And it reminds me of table saws. And imagine going back to a plain high speed steel table saw blade. Well, in the world of carbide teeth, you probably wouldn't dream of doing that on your table saw, yet most of us at this point are still stuck using a plain steel blade on our bandsaw. That's one of the reasons I think it makes sense to upgrade to a C4 carbide tipped bandsaw blade. Now these are individually brazed teeth and diamond ground for a really reliable cut. And let me tell you, these are the blade to have for heavy resawing. On my 1412, I first started out with a three quarter inch resaw king. And that's great if you're just doing straight line cuts, resawing, things of that nature. Because it has carbide teeth, you know it's going to be a very long lasting blade. And that's proven to be the case in my experience. What I found myself doing though was keeping a half inch blade on the saw most of the time. And that's simply because a half inch blade will let you cut at least some curves, not tight curves like a smaller quarter inch blade, but a half inch blade is kind of a good middle ground that will still excel at straight line cuts, but also let you do some curved work. The next progression was adding a half inch resaw king, and that's really been a game changer for me because I can still do the resaw work that I was getting done with the three quarter inch resaw king, but I've added the ability to do gentle curves and just general purpose cuts in the shop. Now the resaw king blades are resharpenable. In fact, you can sharpen the carbide on these four or five times per blade. So definitely factor that into the value equation as you're shopping for a new bandsaw blade. But beyond that, I think you'll be amazed at the longevity of these blades, even before the first resharpening. And this becomes particularly evident if you're doing heavy jobs like resawing hardwood or exotics. Now, generally the Resaw King blade is available in widths from half inch all the way up to two inches. For the 1412 bandsaw specifically, you'll wanna select one with a 115 inch length in either a half inch or three quarter inch width. Comes with a nice protective guard covering the teeth. It's got variable tooth spacing and this comes out to about two to three teeth per inch. And the way that works is there's a 12 millimeter space here. Then it goes to 14, 16, back to 14 and 12, and then the pattern repeats. And by doing that, it reduces harmonic vibration and almost completely eliminates blade flutter. And that gives you one of the smoothest cuts I've ever seen come off a bandsaw. Well, here's a size comparison of the three quarter inch resaw king that's installed on the saw. It's pretty much going to be limited to straight line work and resawing, whereas the half inch resaw king would be great for gentle curves or just general purpose work at the bandsaw. The kerf on this blade is an incredibly thin 1.1 millimeter and the backing is even thinner at 0.6 millimeters. That's a great thing if you're trying to save lumber when working with that precious hardwood. Just imagine what kind of mileage you'll get out of your specialty hardwood and exotic lumber when you can make cuts like that and utilize just about every bit of the board. If anybody's doing book match veneers, boy, this Resaw King would be the blade to have. All right, guys, there's all the details on the Resaw King. That's the one with carbide tip teeth and variable spacing. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.